Now, a quick aside about the PML4Es. We saw read-write, we saw user-supervisor, and we saw XD. These are all access control mechanisms that are ultimately controlling what user space and kernel space can do. We also, back on CR0, saw the WP bit, and we promptly forgot about it. But we said that WP stops ring zero from writing to read-only pages. So, okay, if a particular area of memory, according to the page map level four, is supposed to be read-only, then if the write protect bit is set, then the kernel can't write to that read-only memory. But if the write protect bit is not set, then the kernel can just go ahead and ignore those read-only access controls and just do whatever it wants. Well, it turns out that the write protect bit also plays a role in SMEP and SMAP logic. So we said we'd come back to that and cover them briefly before we showed you, you know, here's some control bits of interest. And we said SMEP and SMAP are going to be covered more in detail in the exploits in a future exploits class to be determined which one. But let's talk about what those are briefly just in the context of the access controls that we've already seen. SMAP is Supervisor Mode Access Prevention, and what it does is it says Ring0 Supervisor is not allowed to read and write non-supervisor pages. So if you, meaning user space, don't let the kernel write to user space pages. All right. Supervisor Mode Execution Prevention is don't let Ring0, the supervisor, execute non-supervisor user space pages. So why though, right? Why? I thought the supervisor, I thought the kernel was supposed to be all powerful. It's the top boss. So why can't it do those things? Why would you ever want to stop it from doing those things? And the answer is that a common technique for exploiting the kernel is that an attacker prepares data or code in user space, which they control and which is much easier for them to manipulate. And then they trick the kernel through some sort of vulnerability or bug to basically read from attacker controlled data in user space, and that you would want to prevent with this access prevention, or execute some code in user space. So they literally just stick some code in user space and have a bug and get RIP to point at the user space code, and boom, they're now getting the kernel to execute arbitrary code. And that is what you would use SMEP for, execute prevention. So these are basically both trying to harden a kernel against user space trying to take it down through an exploit. So a quick check, you should go check whether CR0 WP is set in your system and is SMEP and SMAP set in your system.